I couldn't believe my face. It just hit me, guys. Well, I think it did before as well, but now I'm going to tie it all together. Now, the truth may hurt, honestly. So, if you're sensitive, guys, if you guys are on the verge of giving up, maybe don't watch this video, right? But, I have to just say what I think will happen, guys, as in my master timeline, right? My theory. So, it seems as David Shores confirmed us. Why? So, in the recent Brad Garlinghouse interview, Brad stood by his public position that the market, the cryptocurrency market cap will be $5 trillion plus by end of this year, LFG. But, wait a minute, okay? So, I'm going to be tying everything together, guys. It's, this has to be one of the most chess-type videos, right? Because we're trying to get ahead of the curve. We're trying to be ahead of everyone else by 589 steps, guys. Now, so, the 5 trillion, Brad Garlinghouse said he doesn't know how it will be divided, though, by different coins, okay? So, Bitcoin, Ethereum, these coins can be um, having the bigger portion of the pie than XRP, right? But here's my game plan, guys. So, this was a few months ago, I'm pretty sure, um, where the, bear the bearable bull tweeted out a poll. Right, as we can see right here, I, I tried typing or searching for the poll, guys. I think it's deleted or I can't, I couldn't find it. But I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, he talked about or he uh, created a poll about XRP. What's what will XRP's price be in the year 2024? And there was no one dollar ish option. So here comes or here came scams are bad. He stated WTF, where is the one to two, one to two dollar option? Okay. Now, that's not the weird part. This is where it gets interestingly strange because David Schwartz liked hit this tweet that talked about XRP reaching $1 to $2 in the year 2024, okay? And we know David Schwartz is an insider. He called the top and he called the bottom literally to a T. How do you do that? You can't unless you know, unless you know where the markets are heading literally next, right? And it's quite impossible. It's not impossible, but it's very it's it's a very hard thing to do. I think we called the bottom, guys. Right? We only called the bottom thus far. Um, but check this out. We're trying to call the top, and I think we're about to call the top, or we did, but it hasn't come into fruition yet. So you may be wondering, oh, XRP one to two dollars. That's it this year, guys. That's why I say that the truth may hurt. Why? I tweeted this, I mean not tweeted, but I created this video literally back in November of 2023. Now, this is on my second channel, so I'll have it in the link down description below, guys, okay? I won't forget to put it this time. So let me explain my theory before you guys go comment and be like, why am I even investing into XRP? So listen very carefully. Obviously, this is just a theory, guys, and not financial advice at the end of the day, but it's just strange how it matches up with what we stated back in November of 2023. So let's go. Ripple XRP, I just exposed the full-blown timeline. No one else will will tell you this in 2024. I'm ready. In this chart, right, on this chart, I, I pointed out how XRP will go to what? Either less than a dollar or a dollar, mid a dollar, guys, right? 150-ish, around 150 or around a dollar to two dollars, or it'll be near all-time highs before the black swan occurs. You guys can see the top, the, 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 the top of the, um, Price action, guys, pointed towards spring, end of spring, right? May, June area, right here, guys. But it seems like it got uh, the can got kicked down a little bit because of the Federal Reserve. So this just pushed back till like right here, guys. Right, that should be the top, like a, a couple months, a uh, two months um, after. Now here's the game plan, though. If we go back, I pointed out that remember this was literally before ETFs were live, anything before anybody was calling for these crazy price uh, price points, right? I, I, I pointed out how Bitcoin will do, um, the price action will go something like this, guys. Let me try to find it. It will go something like that, right? It will either go to, what, 40-something K, 60-something K, or 90, 90 K, guys. And, to, and then right after, we'll see the Black Swan event, right? Um, that's what I'm worried about, okay? It's because... If Bitcoin is at 90k, which I believe that's coming, guys, in the next couple of months max, 
but f honestly, I I didn't see XRP creating a new all high, right? A, a new all time high back then. Though now maybe my opinion has changed a little bit because anything can occur, guys. But I'm just throwing the fact. I'm just pointing something out, which is just strange because David Shores pointed out a dollar to two dollars, right? This year for XRP, and right here, guys, it matches up perfectly. Right before we see the black zone event occur. Then after we go higher, right? Then after that point, XRP finally breaks free because the case concludes after this black swan event, guys. After it tops out, so if this is 100% the case, I may sell spot uh, spot XRP just to hedge, guys. Now it's going to be very scary though, right? Because we don't know what XRP can do during black swan events. Um, could it rise? Could it not? I don't know. But guys, we have to take it one day at a time. But that's what I found super strange, and, and, and it gets even more strange. Why? I don't know how you, you can make this stuff up because you can't. This is literally Bitcoin price action following gold's ETF fractal. Gold had a ch um, check tree, something like that, guys. Right? It went in this type of roller coaster ride. And, got, and guess why? That's weird. Because during the top, and guess where the top comes out? Comes in summer okay that, that's for gold but right now bitcoin is kind of following it as you guys can see by the candles right here okay so if we go higher that takes us to about 90k 100 uh, low 100ks right that's the top this portion i'm guessing is the black zone event guys where we dump all the way back down right to like these areas where we're at right now if not even lower it depends on how severe the black zone is after that point i told you guys that the fed will probably coming back come back save the day guys print the markets up bitcoin hits about 300k by next year towards the end of next year you guys see how we move up like that guys that's so strange because we talked about this how many times that's my theory right and, and, and literally the gold etf fractal confirmed our theory now has price action confirmed it not yet because we're not at this point guys when we reach 90k bitcoin or when bitcoin is at these ranges then we'll know what happens if a black swan enters after then this this theory is probably confirmed guys right our theory um which then xrp finally breaks free that's what i'm hoping right and if xrp doesn't create a new high a new all-time high let's just say and every all, all coins every other all coins are exploding and everything guys because remember five trillion will come into the scene right or or not five trillion but the market cap the total crypto market cap will be at five trillion as brad garland has to say guys then people literally you and everyone else will be selling their xrp especially if it dumped during the black swan event i could guarantee and assure that guys okay not financial advice but afterwards when everyone is probably out of our precious xrp then they're going to make it fly free i think that's the game plan guys but i would uh, it's, it's never nothing is ever a guarantee just remember that not financial advice please like today's video Right now, it seems like the bottom could be relatively in or very soon to be because of traders are showing weak by the dip interest in Bitcoin's latest retrace down to low as 60k. Generally, the crowd's lack of faith is a strong sign of prices being close to a bottom, guys. Right now, how do we know we will pump, guys? We'll keep pumping because crypto is Trump's new weapon against Biden, right? So these narratives are coming out and about. And remember, if we pump now till summer right september or something around there guys black swan enters right we're going to go higher because of these new narratives because who's going to be coming into play him right he's pro crypto guys supposedly he just changed his tune and he's now pro crypto right the federal reserve will start printing again you guys see what i mean that's where probably 20 trillion happens if not more before an actual collapse occurs in in later parts of 2025 or something so by growing house is actually extremely bullish here so i don't get why aren't you publicly i think that the market will be over five trillion by the end of this year which is a double from where we are now how that applies to bitcoin versus xrp i mean like people forget before the sec got involved and said that eth is not a security xrp was the second most valuable digital asset wow that was that wasn't that long ago. that wasn't long ago what three four years it was 2018 when okay, henman just, gave his speech so six years a little less than six years ago yeah, five yeah. five years and change publicly. so there you go you guys see how he stated that who knows which which coin will take more of the pie right 
Now, how would I know we're we're close to a top or a mid cycle top, guys? When it, before, how do I how would I know if we're close to the black swan? If we see Bitcoin at ninety k, okay, and then right after XRP randomly goes like this, guys, goes like that after Bitcoin hits ninety k and dumps a little, and XRP explodes to like a dollar, two dollars, right? We're at the top, mid cycle top, probably a black swan enters after. Um, the case concludes and we finally it's set free right XRP set free so wow this is crazy guys um, yeah it all depends on the case I'm pretty sure all, it all depends on the case though how crazy can it really get though right that's that's the, that's the part guys I don't know before the black swan I don't know how crazy it could get maybe XRP can reach a new high because this is from Raul Powell he says get ready for the banana zone listen to this Let's talk about crypto summer. Here's the chart of the seasons. So spring is green. We had a great spring this year. Summer is when a lot of the gains start to happen. Fall was tricky. Right, summer is where a lot of the gains start to happen. Last time around, we got a stunted cycle. If you remember that kind of double toppy style thing, it was highly unusual. 2017, 2013 were more typical, obviously, of the fall season. And so we don't know how this one's going to play out. I think it plays out more like 2013, 2017. 2013, 2017, 2013, 2017. Um, well, summer... Okay. Interesting. Summer points were right here, guys, right? We see a mid cycle top right there, mid cycle top right there, or I guess over here, right? Um that's color code of summer. Fall, mid cycle top, over here we just kept pumping. I think I think we're literally following the 2017 cycle, guys, right? So some point there will be some type of mid cycle top, but I think It'll be at new highs, right? New all-time highs. We come down because of that black swan, but we, we go like this after, guys, right? Until 2025, like that, guys. And that's where the craziness happens. That's where literally everything explodes like never before. But during this mid-cycle top, that's where everything explodes like never before as well. But th before the collapse, things get a thousand x crazier. 17, but it's all assessing the odds as we go. But right now, this is the easy year, the summer. So we should just be able to set it, forget it, and let the gains accumulate. And then very soon, next month and a half, we will start to hit the banana zone. And this is what happens when you hit the banana zone. Things get absolutely wild, which is the really magical part of why this is the greatest macro trade of all time. There you go, guys. Bitcoin at what? Right? 300k? That's a banana effect? Of all time. And it's coming. Will it look the same as others? Who knows? Right. So, I don't know, guys. Things are looking pretty crazy here, aren't they? Right, so what are your theory? Comment down. Well, what's your theory, guys? What's what are your theories? Comment down below if you have any. Um, but if XRP were to just stay at um, under all new all time under previous all time highs this summer or not summer, but this year, guys, a lot of people will definitely be frustrated, right? Um, though I do believe whenever the case concludes, that's when it finally um, becomes free, right? And we're just waiting. And, and the timeline for the case, as the attorneys suggest, suggested, it comes in about summer time frame. So things are looking good in my uh, in my point of view, guys, because I think we hit the timeline on its head. But now we just have to wait for time to play out. Not financial advice. Anything can happen. Always remember. But let's see what happens. But anyways, I hope you guys amazing this. See you.